So we're about to go on a ridiculous journey, 2,000 kilometers north across Japan. It's a journey that's gonna take 21 days and we're gonna be posting videos every single step of that journey, every single day. There's just one slight problem. I don't have a car. Well, I did, but the engine has gone, unfortunately, and it turns out it's cheaper to just replace the car than get a new engine altogether. Now, you might be thinking, well, Chris, why don't you just get a bike like you did last time? Why don't you cycle across Japan? But unfortunately, what a shame, North Japan has the highest levels of snowfall on the planet. So I'm thinking, why don't we go and find the cheapest and tiniest car that we can find? I've got 350,000 yen, which is about $2,000. Not a lot, admittedly. I've blown most of the budget on hiring great people to make this trip possible. But I have found the largest showroom in Tokyo, just west, about one hour. We're gonna go there, see what we can grab, and hopefully make the longest journey possible in the tiniest car that we can find. What could possibly go wrong? One of the first things you notice when arriving in Japan is there's a whole different class of vehicle driving on the roads, discernible by their yellow number plates and their almost comically tiny proportions. They're called keijidosha, literally K cars, and despite their size, they're extremely popular, making up 30 to 40% of Japan's entire car market. To be officially classified as a K car, the vehicle must have an engine no larger than 660cc, about half the size of a normal car. However, as they're allowed to be two meters in height, most K cars have a box-shaped design to maximize interior space. Sure, it makes it less aerodynamic, but that's offset by the fact they're incredibly fuel efficient. And if you're still not sold on them, not only are they great for Japan's narrow streets, but they come with a ton of tax and insurance benefits, which make them vastly cheaper to own and operate than regular cars. With all that in mind, hopefully today we can find a bargain as we search for the tiniest car at the lowest price. And thankfully joining us, we've got the most level-headed, toughest negotiator in all of Japan to join us. Uh, oh, wait, sorry, they're busy. We've got Natsuki. Oh, crap. So here we are, guys, in what might be Tokyo's biggest car showroom with Japan's biggest celebrity. Natsuki, Yay. how are you doing? Genki. I feel so good. Absolutely. Now, we're going to buy a car. Woo. Never done this before on a video on a in Japan. We've got to buy a car that we're going to drive for Good 21 thing. days. Good yeah. thing. Uh, how much money? Uh, Sanju Gomayen. Huh? About $3,000. <laughs> $2,000. <laughs> <laughs> $2, <laughs> $2, <laughs> 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 car is expensive. No, 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 no. We're going to get a K car. K car. No, K car. K is dangerous. Not dangerous. K car. Daijoubu desu ka? It's Daijoubu. Are you okay? I'm okay. Oh. Trust me, trust me. We're going to get a car that's good, cheap, reliable. Oh. Just like you. Let's go. Let's go. And so, together with my erstwhile negotiator and a car park with over 200 cars to choose from, it's time to see what we can find. Yeah, of course, Natsuki's gone straight for the ridiculously expensive cars. For, I mean, what is this? It's like $45,000. Yeah, good. No, not good. No. I like this. Yeah, I know you like this, but I haven't brought $45,000 with me. This is too much money for a car. Oh, well, no, no. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, this is nice. Good, Jana. Oh, no. Mercedes nice. Benz. Oh, oh cool. Black and silver, nice. Sugi no Jane across Japan. No, 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 no. We can't, this, no, obviously not. Safety. Oh, yeah. Safety. Because North Japan. Yeah, dangerous. but we don't need to spend $50,000 just for Good. a bit of snow. Good. This, 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 this next. This is even more expensive. <laughs> this is $70,000. Wow. No. Oh. This is the wrong area. We need the cheaper car section over here. Oh dear, we're off to a rather worrying start. Maybe in the slightly less premium car section, we'll have a bit more luck. This is it. Mini it's Cooper. Oh, good. I mean, it's a reasonable price. It's a little bit over budget, though. Three times over budget. It is good. Like, honestly, this would be kind of fun. But journey across Japan isn't about fun. It's about pain and oh. suffering. Always. Journey across Japan, <laughs> no fun. What about this one? This is 59 miles. Oh, but it's not a K car, so. Uh, K car, Natsuki. K is light car. Yes. You're heavy. I can't help but feel we brought the wrong man for the job today. Natsuki has not been a helpful influence so far. Um, should have brought someone a bit more thrifty, someone like Ryotaro. We're not getting a Porsche, Natsuki, for God's sake. Ridiculous. You want which one? Which one? Mm. Uh, that one. That oh, one. Point. No, no, no. That one. That that is the cheapest car I've seen so far. Nissan. 
Mokko? No, 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 no. <laughs> this, this is toy. It looks like it does it like a toy, to be fair. That's pretty cheap, though. 29 man. Oh. Actually, no, the car itself is 19 man <laughs> without fees. Uh, That's like $1,000. Trash price. <laughs> Trash price. Yes, so. No, out of the way, this looks good. It's got like four seats in it. How the hell can you fit four people in this? This is ridiculous. Dorka. It's so like narrow. Yeah. Like we're practically touching uh, shoulders. Uh, Except there is a little barrier. It's like a couch, like a sofa. A sofa. Big chair. Try, you sit in the back. All right. <laughs> God, can you fit in oh. there? Oh, game center. <laughs> 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 Game Center! <laughs> Don't trash it. If this is the real price, I think this is the car. Oh. But reason, maybe die. This sure. car, crash. Well, if they crash, the car looks impeccable, so I don't know how. Yeah. All right, let's see how many bags we can fit in this bad boy. <laughs> oh! Maybe like one, if that. Cat house. Cat house. <laughs> what do you use your car for? <laughs> I can't say. Oh. Oh, oh, run. Big cat yeah. house. Yeah, isn't it? I really like it. I think of all the cars I've seen, this is the one that ticks all the boxes. The size, the price. I think this is the car. If that's the price and there's no problems with this car, like, uh, this is it. Magical miracle. Uh, it is a magical miracle. But uh, grandma is dead, dead in the car. No, <laughs> grandma smell. No, nobody died in the car. Prices. Nobody no died in the car. Well, be died. careful. Be I'm going to find out why. So oh two. my! She died here. It seems we may have found a real bargain, and so we summon one of the staff over to discover just why this K car is so ludicrously priced, and above all, to allay Natsuki's fears that the previous owner somehow died at the wheel. <laughs> おばあちゃんが死んだ車とかじゃないですか。前の方も旦那さんたちの結構高齢の方だったんですけど、元気にその辺散歩してらっしゃいました。She's <笑> No problem. Wow, oh yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> go! Let's do it. Let's buy this car. Don't you car? Don't you Oh, college. No, no, no. Not the Porsche. This one, the Nissan Mokko. Don't you this one? Yeah. Kai Mosho. And so, as the kind Kimura san and I attempt to strike a deal, the only thing that stands between us is Natsuki, the saboteur. My God, I can't believe we've done this. We've literally just bought Japan's tiniest car. This wasn't staged, this wasn't planned. I didn't even think we'd be able to find something like this. So this is gonna be very interesting indeed. 21 days on the road in the snowiest place on earth. Can this car really do it? I think that's gonna be half the battle, half the fun of watching Journey Across Japan, to be honest. And with Natsuki in the passenger seat, what could possibly go wrong? Oh God. Hey, Ready? Let's go, Journey Across. Japan. Put your seatbelt on. Seatbelts oh, first. Seat safety. <laughs> journey, safety. Journey through the windscreen. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, journey safe. Let's go. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 200,000 yen lighter, and with 2,000 kilometers in front of us, I'm almost in a state of shock that we've actually just bought a K car. What on earth have we done? Need your Kuma and the car. Toys. Gasoline, nine. 
<laughs> yeah, we've got we've got two bars of petrol, gasoline in the car, so we can only go like 50 kilometers at the moment. So <laughs> not so much journey across Japan as journey across the car Finished. park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With an impending three-hour drive through Tokyo to the start point of journey across Japan, it's time to fill up our new toy car for the first time. So we're filling up the car for a long journey ahead to Kinagawa Onsen in Tochigi, the first stop of our trip. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit worried that something is wrong with this car. To warrant that price, I'm worried we're gonna get on a highway and then the wheels will just fall off. I don't know, it just feels perversely cheap, so time will tell, time will tell. Now comes the real test. Can we pack three weeks of equipment and Natsuki's fast cigarette collection into the back of the car? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what a mess. My god, we've had the car barely an hour and we've already trashed it. <laughs> the amount of equipment we've had to bring on this trip. How many days? 21 <laughs> days. And now we've got to get out of Tokyo and make the two hour journey north to Kinagawa Hot Springs. The first time, right? To yeah. Kinagawa Onsen. Oh, never been. Yeah, yeah. neither have I. Hopefully it's good. All right. At last, we're away, just in time to hit the Tokyo rush hour traffic. Oh, yay. God, I thought I knew what real terror was, and that was until I drove around the world's biggest city in the smallest car with the world's worst fucking navigation man. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. Which way, left or right? Straight. Sorry. Straight? Sorry. What do you mean straight? It's left or right? <laughs> <laughs> this is terrifying. Chocolate almonds. Oh, chocolate almonds. Energy oh. charge. Oh. There's a chocolate almond tax when you come and ride in my K car. <laughs> Special chocolate tax. Stuck in a traffic jam with one last view of Tokyo. It's weird to think we're doing a big, massive lap of North Japan. We're not going to see that view again for three weeks now. It feels really surreal to be doing this. Like it doesn't feel like it's happening yet. And maybe it'll settle in when we get to our end destination tonight. Kinagawa Onsen is a place I've always wanted to go. To be honest, it's a bit of a rundown hot spring. It's not known for all the right reasons, as we'll see. It's tomorrow that Journey Across Japan really gets underway. This is kind of like the chaotic prologue. At least we've walked away with a car, or driven off in a car. That's the main thing. We got one thing right today. As we get onto the highway and leave Tokyo behind, we soon uncover one slight flaw with the tiny car in the face of gale force winter weather. Not gonna lie, it's a little bit scary driving this K car on the highway. It's so windy. Like, so windy. We're getting thrown around like a bloody dog toy. So we put the fan on and the smell coming out of it isn't that great. Grandma smell. That's, that's what he keeps saying, grandma smell. All the air. It does smell quite musty, but we'll, we'll, we'll fix that. Oh my God. History. But yeah, really kind of windy and um, not so fun to drive this on the highway. Other than that, it's been great. Well guys, against the odds, we made it to Kinogawa Onsen in the washing machine on wheels. I must say, I did enjoy driving the K car, but when it gets windy on the highway, it ain't a lot of fun. But anyway, here's the room. Uh, the room where Natsuki and I can finally relax after a very, very long day indeed. Uh, you might be able to hear splashing. That's because Natsuki, of course, is in the bath. And this is the room with twin beds. It's very, uh, very pink and very romantic, isn't it? It's kind of this point I wish I'd invited Charles instead of Natsuki for the start of the trip. Without further ado, let's see Natsuki enjoy that. <laughs> Look at that, lucky bastard. Natsuki, I thought Natsuki was gonna drive us here and he made me drive and now he gets to sit in the onsen. How does this work? Oh, nice bath. Oh, lucky man. Happy bath day. Yeah, happy yeah. bath day indeed. You bastard. Relax. Yeah, do you enjoy the journey? Oh, nice journey. Oh, yeah. This time, nice journey, good journey. No scary. Yeah, we'll see about that when the K car hits the snow. What do you think of the K car though? Pretty good, right? K car? Oh, he's a scary better. Than windy, windy, windy. Yeah, yeah, that win. My oh. God. Uh, I don't think we caught it on camera, but a few times the car felt like it was going to flip over because it's quite high, right? And the window is really big, so it's like 
the complete opposite of aerodynamic. Anyway, that is all for today now, guys. Thank you for joining us on this sort of prologue of Journey Across Japan. Looking forward to seeing what that K car can do. To be honest, it's pretty good value for money. We paid like nothing for it. Good product. It's comfortable, it's a good car, it's a good project. But we'll see you tomorrow, guys, to kick off Journey Across Japan non-stop north from Kitagawa Onsen to Yamagata. Now, get out of the bar, it's my turn. Hi, Anka. Quick turn. No, 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 my bad. No, 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 that's not how this works. I took a step in the old bridge. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Oh.